Hello students. Welcome back to Techo Kids. We are back with scratch programming tutorials. Today is your third class in which you are going to learn how you can create a dodge game step by step using scratch. So let us start up the scratch editor. Before we start creating it, let us see how it works. To start the game, I'll click the green flag. Now this monkey has to reach to bananas without touching the crabs. That is the game. So if this monkey touches any of the crabs, then the game will get over. Let us start creating the game in Scratch. Here, you need the main characters of the game, like the monkey, crabs, and the banana. I don't need this cat, so I will just delete it. To start with, let us go to choose a sprite, search for monkey or the required sprite. You will find monkey here. Place it properly. Now the size of monkey is quite big. We can just reduce it from the size. Let us make it 60. Okay, this size is pretty fine. Now let us get the other characters like the crab. Okay, here I have crab. Again, crab is quite big. So we will just reduce it again to 50 or 60 is okay. I need one more crab. So what I will do is I'll just right click and duplicate it this way. Make sure the name of the sprites are given properly. Like monkeys, okay. Let me give it crab one to keep track of my sprites. And what else do I need? I need bananas. So I will just get it from here. Okay. So here are your bananas as well. We'll just reduce the size. Okay. This is fine. Now we'll just place the characters properly. Now, what else do we need is a background, right? We have to give a proper background to it. To get a background, you have to click over choose a backdrop. Search for a suitable background. You can take any of the listed ones. The one that I have selected is blue sky. So that is here. Now our stage is ready. Let us start coding the game. Now, first of all, I want my crabs to move. This crab to move from this point to this point, and this crab should go from this to this point. To start with, let us click over the crab and now select glide block. Just drag it here. Now, if you see this point on X axis is given by minus 195. That is over here. Now I want my graph to go to the exact opposite point that is plus 195. Observe that I'm not changing its Y position. Y value is given when the graph has to move from up to down or from down to up. In our case, a crab is moving only from left to right and from right to left. So I'm going to change only the X values. Okay. Now let us see if it goes. Yes, it does. But I want again it to come back to the position. So I will just duplicate it. And this time I will say it to come at minus 195. Okay, let us see if it does so. From there to there and again here. I want my crab to keep repeating this thing. So I will just select forever block from control and place it here. 
now it will keep doing this until the end of the game right but when do you want the crack to start moving at the start of the game and our game is going to start when we click the green flag now to give it the instruction to start moving when the green flag is clicked we'll take this block and place here at the top now let us see if this is working. We'll click the green flag to see our crab moving. Yes, it is moving smoothly from left to right. Now it is moving only from left to right because we have given opposite X values while the Y values are same. Let us do the same thing for the second crab as well. Click over crab two. We'll take the glide block again. We'll ask it to go to the opposite point. That is minus 193, right? And then to positive 193. In order to keep repeating this thing, we want it to move forever. We'll just click keep the forever block here and it should start moving only when green flag is clicked. Let us see if this works. Yes, our crabs are moving perfectly. Now let us come to the control of the monkey. Monkey will be controlled by the player. So how should monkey be uh, moving? Only with the help of the navigation keys that is up, down, left, and right. So how to do this? From events, we will select a block that says when up arrow key is pressed, then what should happen? Our monkey should go upwards in the up direction. So to make it go up, I've just said that for up and down, we have to change the Y values. So I will just say it to change y by 10. Okay, let us see if this works. If you press the up arrow key, it will keep going up. Now to make it come down, what we will do is, we will say it when down arrow key is pressed, change y by minus 10 it here and let's say minus 10 let's see if this works yes so when down arrow key will be pressed it will start moving downwards now let us do for left and right now this time when left arrow key is pressed the x value should change change x by 10. Let us see where it goes. It is moving towards right to bring it come towards left. Let us give it negative 10. See, that is left. Now, we'll give it for the right arrow as well. When right arrow key is pressed, then x value should be changed by positive 10. Yes. Now, if you see here, up, down, left, and right are in the control of the player. Now comes the twisting part of the game. That is, what if this monkey touches the crab? Then the game should get over. So we will just ask it. When any key is pressed, like it could be any up, down, left, or right keys. So when any key is pressed, it should wait. It should wait until touching the crab. So wait until block is available in control and go to sensing to get the touching block and then touching the crab one. Now what should happen when it touches the crab one? 
it should say game is over. Now say is present and looks. We'll select this one, say and edit this part, game over. Okay, and as soon as game gets over, it should wait for a few seconds. And then everyone should come to a stop. Now, to bring everyone to a stop, let us say stop all from control. Okay, if any key is pressed, see, I'm touching the crab. It is saying game over and everything stops. Let us see if this is working correctly. We'll hit the green flag. Game got over and everyone stopped after uh, one second, right? Okay, but one thing that you have to notice here, this monkey should be at this point when the green flag is clicked, right? Every time you start the game, monkey should come to this point. Now to bring it, come at that particular point, when green flag is clicked, we will just say it. Like when green flag is clicked, it should go to a particular position. So it is currently at this position, our monkey, that is minus five and 116. So let us give this instruction to it, go to minus five, and 116. Okay, we'll come down and touch the crab so that everyone should stop. And when you click the green flag, a monkey goes back to its original position, right? Now this block is working correctly. We'll do the same thing for the second crab as well. Let us quickly go to events. Then any key is pressed. It should wait until touching the crab. Now this time you have to select crab two, right? And as soon as it touches the crab two, then it should say game over again, the same block. Game over and again wait for one second and then stop all. To stop all, just scroll down in control, you'll find it here. Yes. Now let us check if it is working for crab two. For that purpose, I will just hide crab one for a moment from here and we'll check only for crab two. Let us start the game. If my monkey touched the crab, yes, it is saying game over and it comes to a stop. Yes, so things are working correctly. We'll bring back our crab one and just start the game game. Okay, now what should happen if it touches the bananas? So it should say that you win, right? So let us code that. Let's go to monkey and Again, we'll start with the same event that says when any key is pressed, when any key is pressed, it should wait until touching bananas. So I'll take here from sensing, touching bananas. Let's place it here properly. Yes. Now what should happen if it touches the bananas? It should say you win. Okay, it should say you win. And wait for few sec wait for a few seconds. That is from control. Wait for one second and then finally stop all. Again, even when it it, it wins the game, it should stop everything. So to check if it works for bananas. Let us just hide both the crabs from here. Crab two as well. And let's go to bananas. 
by clicking the green flag. Yes, it says you win as soon as it touches the banana, right? So let's get our characters back and start the game. View it in the full screen mode. And that's how our game is going to look like, right? Crabs are moving correctly. Also, when it touches the crab, it should say game over, right? And everything should come to a stop. That's how the dodge game is. Now you know how you can create a dodge game. So we recommend you to make it a game with some more effective changes. If you want to learn more about Scratch, keep watching our videos. Also make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.